Welcome back! Let's, if we can, try to play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Uh, the app seems to be loading faster than normal, but last time I attempted to get a pairing, this little animation got stuck here. Here, oh, here we go. Good luck. So I want to play third file rook openings, because uh, they're fun to play. So let's see where we end up. Um, yeah, offhand, I don't remember, like, if this is completely not playable for some reason. Oh, I see. They've actually defended against the thing. So, yeah, this is the other line. Um where I set up camp in the center of the board and pray that everything's okay. I see. It's a bit of a harsh line, but uh, perhaps it's survivable. On the other hand, had they put the silver up one square, then I'm not sure. Like, if I offered this exchange, I would be threatening a bishop drop in the corner. There's just a lot to remember. But yeah, this way... This is a bit harsh, but seems to be right. Despite being down a pawn and just a bit vulnerable here. Um, Oh, I don't want to do that, but maybe I need to. I would advance the silver, except the silver would be kind of on its own there. So I keep mentioning how I want to study some openings, but I guess the reality is that perhaps I want to see them in actual gameplay and then try to decide which ones are worthy of most of my attention. Um, this one seems um, like something I should pay attention to. Yeah, solving this during the game seems to be challenging. Um... This seems okay. And then we could put pressure on this flank as well. And yeah, I don't know what to do. This might be playable. Seems risky. Um, yeah, actually, what's my silver doing in this corner here? Perhaps this needs to move. Oh, I don't have a piece opposing this advance. Okay. Yeah, that's sharp. Um, hmm. Well, I seem to be in a universe of trouble. Oh, well, maybe it's fine. This is dangerous, but I need a pawn in hand, so maybe this works out somehow. Mm hmm I wonder. Maybe I needed to prepare this better. Um, But we've received a pawn in hand now, so we can try to defend this position. Um, silvers in the center seem, like, reasonably placed.
7分Okay, we're gonna take this risky looking move because I don't see what else to try. Um Okay, what's the deal now? We gain a pawn in hand. I think we amateurs need to better understand what pawn to suji are. Because I'm sure there was a trick there, but it, uh, maybe it was pawn up here forcing my lance to advance, and then the bishop could promote behind the lance. Um, even here, though, like, I had enough pawns to, like, surround the bishop, so... I think I just got fortunate, but I don't know uh, what the stronger technique would have been. Our pawn opponent does not have a pawn anymore. Maybe they were expecting that they had one more. Um, oh, so I seem to have been threatening pawn drop and then bishop drop, and I just never did this threat. Um, but now that I see it. I can play such a thing. I don't know why that didn't occur to me till just now. A pawn drop forces the rook to move somewhere, because if it takes the pawn, then I can drop the bishop here, and then promote it on the back row. Oh, right. I was seeing and concerned about this last turn. And just, right, uh, I had completely forgotten about it, and now I see it again. Um... <laughs> So, the reason this might not work... Um, it's because I could defend this point. Hmm. Well, this is suspect. But at least I have some idea what the shape is. So my king is going to run to the left, apparently. And I could attempt to delay the egress of the bishop. Yeah. Um... I'm going to play the more aggressive move here, though. If Rook takes, I get a promoted bishop. Rook's not going to take, but... Oh, Rook does take. So... 
my bishop gets to promote. Um, not how I thought this would actually go. It's fine, but yeah, there's my position's still extremely vulnerable. Um, this king's head is where I want to attack, but it's hard to hit. I don't have very many pieces to attack with. Um, I guess the next thing I want to do is prevent their rook from promoting. So I need to push this edge pawn. Um, uh, well, I don't have anything else to attack with, do I? If they push this, I can strike with a pawn, and then knight takes, threatening the silver, and I might actually get an attack. But if they keep their wits about them, surely there must be some road forward. But what? Um, I don't know. But we want to stop this rook from advancing, so this seems like the most natural way to stop that. Okay. Um, So I'm preparing to close in on the knight, I guess. Again, my king is in a rough spot. If I open up this corner, then their silver and knight have somewhere to go. So that's why I'm not opening this position. Uh -huh. Okay, we take this knight, and then we're going to promote the pawn and chase down their gold. Yeah, the king in the center is my target. It's just a great distance away from my pieces. Um. Hmm. Let's continue chasing this gold. And we actually get to take it. Um, curiously, this pawn advancement has left a lot of pieces in strange squares. To some extent it means my king's vulnerable, but it also means this horse cannot attack the knight right this second. Um, that's clever. Um, so I just see this discovered check, and I'm going to do something about this horse and the discovered check so that they don't get a silver for free. Um, but they're going to get much stronger attack because I'm reckless. Oh, that's not great. 
Um, that is far from ideal. Um, all right, let's attempt to hold this together. I forgot just how powerful this check could be, so we're going to actually not take the hanging silver, but try to avoid getting mated in one, uh, or avoid getting mated in rapid order. Um, this check will probably still land very soon, and I don't know what to do about it, but, um, but at least I made some effort to not get mated. Alright, I think I survive at this point. It's not so clear. Uh, do I use face cam? Apparently not. It seems a bit superfluous. I know a lot of live streamers do it, but I tend to focus more on the game content than on who I am. I don't know, I've spent enough, it's not online, but I've spent enough time um, as some sort of an entertainer in front of people that, like, that's not what I'm seeking to replicate here. Oh, that's clever. Okay. Nifu. Yeah, that is nice. Um, that is a way to continue an attack. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is disgusting. I'd rather use pieces to attack than to defend here, but my position is on the verge of collapse, so I don't have a choice. Yeah, that knight attack... Oh, maybe I should have just run for it, but I don't believe in my ability to run here. I'm choosing to stand and fight rather than run. Um, but yeah, if my gold had moved away, they pawn drop right in front of this gold. And if this other gold moves away, uh, then we're in trouble. <laughs> so, yeah, we need to fight where we're at. Um, I don't know if that helped. Oh god, no, that does not help anything. That's just a free piece donation. Um, okay, we're going to attack before it's too late, but it is too late. Um, yeah. Yeah, this free lance donation. I thought that you could take with the rook or with the horse. I missed. Or the dragon or the horse. I missed the lance takes. So this gets extremely dicey here. Um, we're in check. So I have to do something about the check. This check has been resolved, but now we have a dragon and a token chasing everything. We need to run. Um... Running is our only hope to survive here. And it's a pretty dismal hope at that. If they drop another gold, then I don't think there's any way out. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, we defend. 
Now we can take this. Previously, this was not an option. Just keep taking all the things. Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, am I still checkmated? It looks very checkmate-like. That is checkmate. Alright, there we go. Let's do this again. Thanks for a game. Yeah, Chess Network has a title to go with things. Yeah, I've... Clearly, this is the first time I've ever had that shape, and I did. Good luck. Could have handled it better. Uh. Hmm. Um... This is interesting. I don't know what this is. Okay, this is an opponent, I guess, asking for a bishop exchange. We'll do the wrong diagonal bishop opening. And I don't know what next. Yeah, no, I've seen this before, but I think I survived, no? Is this somehow not okay? It's very- oh. Wait, I should have been pursuing this rook a little bit. Because this otherwise, the rook joining the attack looks too powerful. Um, so now when I need to, when the time comes, I can neutralize the rook. Um, if I need to. Should it come to that? There's multiple ways I can neutralize it. So we defend our king's head. Oh, demon killer tactics. Yeah, I could see that. Um... I don't know if this drop is insane or normal, but um, I'm just excitable at the moment. We're playing a Wondon. Mr. Wondon wants to play an exciting opening, so I just got a little bit excited and carried away, I think. But I thought somehow this would be better to exchange on this square than on other squares. Um, So they have a bishop in hand. This is how I was reasoning about things, I think. But I don't think their bishop can hold... Oh, I'm sorry, this silver is defended. So I'm only forking two pieces, not like three. Yeah. Hidechi had a video, at least one, maybe more than one, covering the demon killer trap. And just by a thread, um, it's possible to survive against it. So, it's no joke. You're right. Um, this bishop battery has been a useful weapon for me in the past. I can't just ignore when my opponent does the same thing. Uh, but now I'm in trouble. Unless they decide to stop attacking. Okay. I'm in less trouble, but they have a rook in hand, so it could still be pretty scary. Um, maybe I sacrifice the silver here. Because, like, if I bring the knight out, they do... Wait, no, I have, a, I have a counter to the rook drop. I can pursue the rook with my gold. So, yeah, so they take here instead. Now I have a knight in hand. They still have a rook drop here. And this time it doesn't lose a piece immediately. But, um, yeah, wow. Shuffle. 
sharp stuff, man. So, if they were to drop a rook back here, I could maybe put the bishop and move the gold to trap it. Maybe. Um... Hmm. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh oh. We are under attack now. Um, Nanafun. Hmm. This ain't good. Yeah, if I retreat, they night drop, and bad stuff happens. So... Uh, out of the frying pan, into the fire we go. Not even a moment to rest. The slants is going to drop, but that's the least of the problems here. Um, well, actually, it looks like the lance is going to drop. Um, but it might just be my chance to counterattack. Hmm. So I can try to break into this corner. Uh, what tactic have I fallen for this time? So we capture a bishop. Oh, that's clever. Um... Wait a second. They're trying to checkmate me. Could they, like, stop trying to checkmate me now? And just let me checkmate them? That might happen. I joke, but, um... Yeah, with me exchanging a gold for a silver, suddenly my rook is doing something here. Um... Ah, uh, but now the knight is going to fork this and a threat. Um, hmm. Let's go here to defend the slants again. And hopefully not get... Oh, well, okay, yeah. Had I defended this gold, then gold drop would force me to exchange my rook. Here... Since I did no such thing, um, their rook is in an interesting position. Um, okay, that makes some sense. I could see why they do this. Um... How, how confusing. Yeah, I mean, the only piece I can defend this with is my Silver General. I debated placing it closer to their Rook, um, which would have stabilized this position a bit, but maybe they have some shot that I'm just not seeing. But yeah, I probably should have placed this closer to Rook, forcing them to take one of my pieces. I was afraid that they might take my Silver and I just stopped reading. Um, um, 
5分。What a shape. What a strange, strange shape. Um, uh, it's possibly a very bad shape, but I don't actually know. Hmm. Yeah, at some point I need to, like, swallow my pride and admit that I fucked up here, but, um... Oh, do I? Maybe I don't. Wait, uh, I'm giving a free piece here. Oh, that stings, because they have this drop right in the face of my king. Yeah, if I take this, um, they can drop the bishop. No, that's not mate in one, though. It's probably mate of some sort, I just don't see it. Um... So they have a bishop, and I need to, like, my king needs to run, basically, and I think it's going to have an opportunity very soon if I'm not stupid, but I don't know. Shogi's hard. Shogi is so hard. The silver is covering their second row, but if I could remove the silver, then I could drop a rook. But also, it could be interesting if I could push this. Um, but also, also, like, there's just stuff. It's just a hard position to read. All right, I'm going to pursue an attack because I think this is not a terrible idea. Yeah, this guy unquestionably made some error. Um, because they had some really scary attack and now they don't. They have an attack, it's just not extremely scary. Okay. Two can attack with promoted pieces. Oh, that's checkmate. Thank you for this game. Nicely played. So that's the reason I don't run away immediately with the king. I didn't see that, like, the entire game until the very end. Um... Huh. Interesting. Good luck. So yeah, we made it our aim to see something new today, and we saw something new today, so... Yeah. I honestly don't know. I'm curious, but I, I have no idea. Um...
So our opponent plays fourth foul rook. And I've heard that the meta is that third foul rook is fine against fourth foul rook. But like this leaves the big awkward question, what about this bishop drop well, now that they've played now they've defended this? So maybe I have to play this silver up. I've done this before, but been told that I have something better I can do, but I don't know, I don't recall what. Um, so, further, I don't know if my move works or not. Um, um, so we could play Twin Gold Castle. Um, no, there's not as much point in pushing that now. I've always been curious about this, so today I'm going to let my curiosity get the better of me. Again. <laughs> um, right, this is not checkers they don't have to take just because I offer an exchange all right so we're both building a similar castle it seems I honestly like if there's some shot like this is gonna be somewhat pro well something's gonna be prone in the middle of that combination. I don't know what. Um, hmm. We're going to take here, and hopefully this will help us find some answers. Let's make another path for our bishop. I honestly just no idea what to do here. Um, our gold generals defend each other. And yeah. I mean, this... If they were having a silver in hand, that silver could go right here. But they don't have one in hand, so I can just push like this. Alright, they've moved this silver up and away from this point. Um, seems crazy, but I don't know what else to try. Okay. I was wondering if or when that might happen. Um, so, what's up? We're hitting this pawn. And we have a bishop in hand. And this board has got a lot of open spaces. Um, but... Maybe somehow they have also a very strong bishop in hand sort of threat. I don't know. But they have to pick... I think either they have to defend this or pick somewhere to drop their bishop. Um, I'm not sure that either task is doable here. Right, so they defend that by advancing it. If I take, they have a bishop drop, I can take the knight, they take the silver. I think I'm still okay with that. But... Um... Hmm. Nine nine nine. Nine. I don't think I have much choice at this point. I mean, this seems to be the alternative, 
and I don't know that this is great. Oh wait, I can promote. There's a weakness and no. Silver could retreat and I don't get to promote. Um How confusing. Well, my knight is protecting this silver. I'd like to be able to use the knight to try to do an attack. One second, I have to silence my alarm clock. What happened? They moved this silver. Curious. I don't understand. Why would they do this? Some people just want to watch the world burn. I guess that's the conclusion we reach here. They are just as curious as I am. Maybe more so. If they drop a silver, I can drop a silver. I guess my rook is trapped, but, um... Oh, uh-oh. My rook and bishop are simultaneously trapped. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> now we've got some proper drama. Go for me. But I can attack their rook, too. Oh, yeah, I have no patience. Let's do it. Let's see where we end up. Um, this is such a strange position. <laughs> I keep saying that every position, but just, there's a lot of ways you can arrange these pieces that move and promote in tricky to understand ways. So, uh, yeah, we seem to have promoted. Um, Hmm, tactics everywhere. Let's exchange this to make use of this silver. Honestly, if they do rook takes, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, but I expect silver takes and then horse 5-5 five five looks reasonable. <laughs> But yeah, this way, um, I get to get away with my bullying and my rook lives another day. Maybe they had some other way to respond that 
like actually trapped my rook, but they picked this line instead. What to do? There's a lot going on in this position. I will attempt to defend my lance. This has numerous problems. Um, most of which are resolved if they just take this immediately and activate my pieces for me. Which is what I was hoping for, but I'm still a little disappointed. <laughs> because there was a very interesting game to be had here. Had they not just done that. But this way, it's not as interesting. Hey, guess what piece we got in hand? Oh, but a lance isn't the right piece here always. Cause, I mean, I could drop it back one, but... Um, yeah. Uh, how to proceed. Oh, wait, I can retreat here, and that's a fork. That's kind of nice. Except I'm an idiot. Um, alright. Well, pretend we did that on purpose. Pretend we have an attack here. Splitting up their castle has a little bit of merit, but not enough that you want to just give away an entire piece to do it. Um, um did I say one piece? I meant give away your entire army. Yeah still not worth it um yeah this silver sacrifice maybe it was fine i don't know i want to attack right now because i have one minute 47 seconds remaining um so attacking looks fun at least until we run out of attacking pieces and then we cry um So we promote and pretend things are okay. When clearly they're not. Um Well this could be worse. A lance could be a fun Oh, they're gonna run away, aren't they? Um Yeah, so I guess I'm going to let them run and see if I can collect enough pieces to make up for it. 
Oh, this is not smart. I'm playing on impulse. Uh, I don't see mate in one. Ipun. I have no time. Mm. This is dangerous. Hmm. I need to use my castle to attack, because none of the rest of my pieces are positioned anywhere near the king. Uh. I can't count where pieces are anymore. It's too much to keep track of. Uh, shoot. Oh, my horse is hanging. Oh no, my horse. Um... Thanks for the game. <sighs> Woo! Well, um, I don't know that I learned anything from game number three. Other than maybe neutralize the alarm clock before the game if possible. But, um, that was exciting. Yeah, we played third Fall Rook instead of central Fall Rook, and our aim was to learn things today. And although I have work coming up very soon... I'll make some time to review, especially that second game, because it looked interesting. Uh, thanks to these opponents, I know we're all amateur players, we're all learning a lot together. So, hopefully we all enjoyed this. I think I did. Thanks for watching. See you next time.